Something I've been asked a lot recently is how can I add my logo to my videos without using expensive bits of software? So today I'm going to cover a nice free option if you're using Windows. Unfortunately, this isn't Mac compatible, but in a future video, I'm going to cover some options that are available for iOS and Mac. So the first thing you need to do is browse across to Google and if you just search for free video watermark maker and you should currently find version 3.0. Just download it from that site, I think it's Softonic it comes up with and um, once you've downloaded it, make sure that you install it and then I'm going to run through exactly how this works and how easy it is to add your logo to your video. So I've opened the software up and the first thing that we need to do is select the actual video file that we want to drop our logo onto. All I have to do is click open file and I'm just going to navigate through to my videos. I'm going to choose the video that I want to actually put this logo onto. There we go. There's the actual video loaded up. We've got a couple of options here. We can use either a text-based watermark or we can use an image-based one. And obviously for a logo, we need to use the image-based one. So we'll click the radio button for image watermark and then open image. And then what we need to do is browse through to where we have our logos. One of the important factors that I need to make you aware of though is that you will actually probably need to resize your image to make sure that it's a good fit. Because if you use something that's too big then obviously you can't resize in this particular piece of software. So make sure that you've got it sized pretty much how you want it to appear on your video. Once you've selected the image that you want to appear on your video then you can click and drag and put it anywhere that you want to position it on the video. Bear in mind if you're sticking any of these on YouTube, try and avoid the top right and the bottom right because you'll interfere with some of the YouTube real estate that appears on your videos when they play. So probably the best option is to put it top left. So once you've done that, you need to select where it is that you want to save the finished article. So we just click, click on to browse. And the next thing you do is just click start. There's a progress bar telling you how far along the actual process is taken. Depending on the size of your video, it might take a few minutes. Also, it very much depends on the processor that you have in your laptop or your computer as to how long this may take. Now I'm going to open up the actual finished file. And you can see in the top left-hand corner, which is where I positioned it, and if I play it, in this video, I'm going to put a second you go there you go so that's exactly how you do it so there you go a nice easy simple way to add either some text your logo or an image to any of your videos don't forget if this is your first time here subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything and I'll see you in the next video